Okay, so sorry I haven't been making videos very very often lately. It's because I've watched about five movies over the past three weeks and I just haven't had the time to create videos. You know, Black Ops 2 came out, so I've been playing a lot of that. You know, I've just been, um, you know, I have a life, so I've been, you know, hanging out with people. I've been applying at jobs, and so I have five movies basically just on a list, and I haven't even put out scripts for them yet, so I'm just going to try to give you my impersonations, just, or impersonations, impressions. Just get them out there, and... You know, and with this video, it's going to be my biggest, like, rant video because I just couldn't stand this movie. I just could not stand it. And that movie is Seven Psychopaths. Now, the first problem with Seven Psychopaths was I was looking at trailers on the movie theater website, and it showed Seven Psychopaths. So I took a look at the trailer, and it looked like a comedy, like some guy steals someone's dog, and then there's like this chase for it, and it looked like a really funny comedy, because you know, Colin Farrell's in it, you know, he's a great actor, you know, you have Christopher Walken, you have Woody Harrelson, you have all these big name actors in, it, in a comedy movie, oh, it's going to be great, you know, so I was looking forward to it, and as soon as I got into the theater, it shows two guys just having a conversation on a dam, you know, they're swearing, you know, fuck this, fuck that, you know, I'm, I'm going to just, fuck that chick last night, you know, all this stuff. And then some guy just walks up and just shoots them in the back of the head. Just like blood splurts everywhere and just drops a jack of diamonds on the body. And it says seven psychopaths. And the movie is just a mishmash of shit. It is a mishmash of shit everywhere. And I can't explain the plot to you because I cannot put to words how bad this movie was. I'll try my best, but Colin Farrell is trying to write a movie about seven psychopaths. And his friend wants to help write it, but for in order to do that, he becomes a psychopath, finds other psychopaths, and starts killing other psychopaths. And it's just this mis mismatch of just... It was just terrible. There's only one redeeming quality about this movie, and there's this one funny part. The joke was in the trailer. I can't really... It's about the whole Gandhi, like... Uh, an eye for an eye leaves everyone blind, and then he's just like, oh no, that can't be happening, because one guy with another eye still leaves one guy with one eye, and all this weird stuff, and that was pretty funny, but other than that, the movie was just pure, utter shit. And I, I still can't believe that I actually stayed in the theater to watch that. And the saying, don't judge a book by its cover, should also go into the fact is, don't judge a movie by its trailer. Because it was the most misleading trailer ever. I dare you to watch the trailer and then watch the movie. It's just disgusting. And the gore in this was way too... It didn't need to be that gory. I mean, it's a comedy movie, not a horror. Like, you see, just, you know, he's thinking of an idea for a psychopath and, um... You know, and then it shows Christopher Walken just get a random knife just out of nowhere, just slice his own throat. It's like, what the hell? So, for this movie... It's an automatic zero for me. It's the first time on this show, or on this channel, that I've ever given a zero to a movie. And Seven Psychopaths will always go down in Universe Actors history as the first movie of getting the big fat zero. So, you know, this movie, this review isn't even going to be cut, because I don't think it needs to. I don't think it deserves to. Because Seven Psychopaths does not deserve a, re a good review. I just... And then I check Rotten Tomatoes after the movie, it's getting an 88. I just... Coming from me, don't watch Seven Psychopaths. It's just probably the shittiest movie I've ever seen. And that's saying a lot. So thanks guys for watching and be sure to click the subscribe button above. And warning, unless you really have a, uh, a sensation for punishment, Seven Psychopaths is for you. Thanks for watching, everybody.